All right, so in this video, we're going to be doing some examples with washer method. All right, these aren't going to be anything too, too difficult. All right, but they're kind of just going to give you an idea of what you're going to see. Okay, so we got our first example on the board here. Uh, find the volume of the solid given by the region enclosed by the graphs y equals x cubed and y equals x rotated about the x axis. Okay, so the first thing to do here, definitely just graph the function. All right, so we are going to, we have our y equals x cubed, so it's going to look like this. And we have our y equals x, it's going to look like that. All right, and we're going to rotate that about the x axis. So when we do that, all right, we wrote, this is our x axis right here. And we rotate that, we're going to get something that looks like this. All right. From there, we need to find our big R and our little r, right? Our big radius and our little radius, okay? And what's that going to be, all right? We know our big R, I'll draw that right here. It's gonna be the distance from our, our upper graph to the center point, all right? Which is going to be on the x-axis because that's where we're rotating around. And when we do that, right, our distance there is going to be well, that's going to be our upper graph is y equals x, so that distance is going to be y equals x, right? So it's going to be x, all right? Our upper radius is just x. Now, what about our lower radius, all right? Well, that's a little different, all right? If I have my lower radius here, and I'll compete, I'll complete. Um, oops, here, hang on, let me fix that there. So we get this, all right? Now we want our smaller radius, all right? And our smaller radius, I'll write that in green, is going to be from the small, the lower curve to the center, okay? And that is going to be, well, what's our distance from there? That's gonna be, of course, y, right? Like, like it was in the last problem, it's still our y. But what is our y? Well, in this case, our y is x cubed. So now we plug in x cubed, and that's our little r. All right? So now we're gonna find our area by plugging in our x's and x cubes. So remember, our equation for using washer method is our area equals pi times big R squared minus little r squared. So we're gonna plug in here, we get area is equal to pi times what's our big R, our big R is x, and of course we square that, okay? So we got x squared minus we have a x cubed, that gets squared. So altogether, that is pi times x cubed minus x to the sixth. All right, and now we have what each cross section is going to equal, or each cross section is going to be pi times x squared minus x to the sixth, all right? And those cross sections are when you cut this way, right? We're gonna cut this way, we're gonna get our cross sections. And now we have to add them up, okay? And how are we gonna add those cross sections up? Well, we take an integral. Okay, take an integral and that adds up each of the cross sections, giving us our volume. Okay, so our volume is going to equal the integral from 0 to 1 of pi times x squared minus x to the sixth dx. Okay, so we can pull that pi out and then let's integrate. Volume is going to equal pi times, all right, the integral of x cubed, that's x cubed, or sorry, the integral of x squared is x cubed over 3. And the integral of x to the 6th is x to the 7th over 7. Alright, and then that's going to be evaluated from 0 to 1. Alright, and when we, when we do our, our evaluation, we know that when we plug in 0, it's not really going to give us anything. We're going to get a 0 minus 0. So, I'm not even going to include that here. Alright, so we get our volume is equal to pi times one third minus one seventh when we plug in that one, okay? So when we find our common denominators here, we're going to get that our volume is equal to four pi over 21. All right, so that's gonna be our volume here. All right, and that's that's really all you're gonna to have to do for this problem, all right? It's, it's pretty simple because we're not, uh, we're not going to be having to, to do anything different with our radii, right? They're just going to be what the graphs that we were given are going, uh, you know, so that's, that's not too anything too difficult, but the next problem, you're going to get something a little more challenging. 
All right, so here's our next problem. We have find the volume of the solid given by the region enclosed by the graphs of y equals x squared and x equals y squared. And we're going to rotate this about x equals, or sorry, y equals 3. So let's draw a graph. I'm going to draw this a little bit bigger this time in case you guys weren't able to really see it as well last time. So I apologize for that. Um, but let's look at these graphs. We have y equals x squared. And we have x equals y squared, which is going to look something like, uh, it's going to look like, oh, this, right? Because they look like this and this. So finding this region right here, all right, we're rotating about y equals 3, okay, which is up here. Okay, so when we do our washer, see we're taking it from here, we're going to go like this. We have our inner radius too. Okay, so most challenging part of this problem, finding the radii, okay? You need to be able to find those radii. You know, our area is equal to pi times big R squared minus little r squared. What is our big R? What's our little r? All right, well, our big R is going to be the distance from this long, or the, the lower graph here to the center, okay? And how are we going to find that? Well. What we're going to do is we're going to take that line that's at the top here, okay? That line is y equals 3, so we're going to, let's say 3, okay? And if we were to put in 3 for, for r, okay, then that's going to give us the whole distance from 3 to the x-axis, okay? And of course, that's not our little red line right here, okay? We have to subtract something. And we're going to subtract the distance from... The, the, the extra distance, which is the distance from our bottom graph to the x-axis, okay? And what is that distance? Well, that distance is, of course, whatever the y, uh, whatever the y coordinate is at that point. But what is that y? Well, our function is y equals x squared, so x squared, right? So it's going to be 3 minus x squared. All right, and now we need to find our little r, and we're going to do the exact same method, okay? So, I'll erase here and erase here. All right. All right, so we have um, our little r that we need to find. That's the distance from our inner radius to the center, okay? And to do that, we're still going to have 3 to start off with. Still have our 3. But now where are we going to be subtracting? Well, where we're going to be subtracting is all this distance right here. And what is that distance? Well, that distance is whatever y is. Okay, whatever that y coordinate is at that point. But what is that? Well, we're talking about the function x equals y squared. So we need to solve for y. Because this is in terms of x, so this needs to be in terms of x as well. Okay? Well, if we're solving for y, x equals y squared, so y equals rad x, okay? You square it both sides. And we're going to get uh, that little r is equal to 3 minus rad x, okay? So now we plug those in, and then we're going to get our area. So area equals pi times, we have a 3 minus x squared quantity squared minus 3 minus rad x squared. All right, and then we FOIL that out and we get our area. So area equals pi times 9 minus 6x squared plus x to the fourth. And we're going to subtract. It's going to be 9 minus 6 rad x plus x. All right. And we're going to distribute that negative 1 so we can add these two. We get plus uh, 6 rad x and we have a minus x. Okay, so we can combine like terms here. Area equals, this is going to be a pi times uh, 9 to cancel out. We have a x to the 4th minus 6x squared plus, uh, minus x plus 6 rad x. And that's our area. So great, we found our area. That's all fine and dandy. Now we need to find our volume. So what's our volume, right? Our volume 
is going to be the integral from, it's still going to be 0 to 1, all right? I should probably pick a problem that doesn't have your integral being from 0 to 1, but uh, whatever. <laughs> so I'll do that. Like, I'll, I'll make another uh, problem video, all right? And that'll be like a little bit harder video, or sorry, a little bit harder problems, and I'll switch it up then. All right, so our, our bounds are still going to be 0 to 1. We can already pull that pi out um, of the integral, so we get x to the fourth minus 6x squared minus x plus 6 red x, and we have a dx on the end. All right, now we're just going to uh, integrate. So that's going to be equal to pi times x to the fifth over 5 minus, well, what's that 6x squared going to be? Uh, that's going to be, well, we get a x to the third. We're going to flip that out front. We get 2x cubed minus x squared over 2 plus we get a 6x to the 1 half. So that's going to become a 3 halves. And we bring that out front. It's going to be uh, 12 over 3. That's going to be 4. So 4x to the 3 halves. All right. And we're going to evaluate that from 0 to 1. All right. So, again, when we put in that zero, this whole thing is going to become zero. So, we'll just plug in that one, call it good. All right, our volume is going to equal pi times, well, we're going to have a one-fifth minus two minus one-half. And this is going to be plus four. All right, so plug that in your calculator and then see what you get. All right, and your volume is going to equal 17 pi over 10. So that does it for this video. All right, like I said, I'll do a more uh, tougher problem video, okay? This is pretty easy, but I just want to do at least under, like get you guys to understand, all right? The hardest, prob the hardest part of this problem is just finding your radii. All right, you find your radii, and then it just becomes all calc 1 from there. All right, so that does it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.